You're listening to Embrace Your Snake, the podcast for aspiring creatives and aspiring creative entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Michael Jackson, and today we're going to talk about overcoming fear. So here's something I know. Everybody is afraid of something. They may not admit it, but they are afraid of something. They may be afraid of something like death. They may be afraid of something like roaches. They may be afraid of relationships. They may be afraid of going down the street in their car. But everybody is afraid of something. There is not one person on this planet that is not afraid of something. I have to say one of my favorite uh, episodes of Star Trek ever. I can't remember the name of it right now. But it was one of the old original series, Star Trek, the original series, where Kirk and Spock and uh, McCoy and of course a couple of red shirts go down to a planet and they're at the end of the um, episode there's a gunfight and the thing I love about this episode was where, this is where the Vulcan mind meld really showed its power because what Spock had figured out was that the fear was what was killing people so at the OK Corral Spock and Kirk and McCoy were getting ready to go into this gunfight. And Spock knew that if either of the two of them believed they were going to die, they were going to die when those fake bullets hit them. Everything was an illusion. So Spock basically did the Vulcan mind meld on both Kirk and on Spock, I mean on, on McCoy, so that they would have enough fortitude to let the bullets just pass through them. And there are so many times that I wish that I could do that with uh, with people <clears throat> because I've gotten past maybe some of those fears that other people that have not been through some of the things that I've been through go through. Now, before we go into that, we all know that Michael is afraid of snakes. And if there is somebody out there that can mind meld with me to get over my fear of snakes, I would do that in a heartbeat. So what have I done to get rid of my fear? Let me, let's talk about it. There's a web page, or I guess it's a Facebook group called Florida, What Kind of Snake Is This? And I, I will tell you that when I first started looking at that group, I was afraid to even touch the screen on my phone to scroll past the snakes because pictures of snakes scared me. Literally, I would have to scroll down the side of my phone or watch on my computer on my desktop computer so that I could look at the snakes because I was frightened of their pictures. Now, after weeks of looking through the snakes, I can now name the snakes that I see on the site. I know the difference between a, a water moccasin and a banded water snake. Thank you very much, Florida um, snake page. I can tell the difference between just about all of the snakes in Florida. Um, I get, I get them wrong. I'd say I'm probably 70% right when I look at a snake picture and I can go, oh, that is a black racer, you know, or that is an indigo. I can tell the difference between them. So that was my first step was literally just getting the courage up to be able to look at snakes on the screen. And I don't really fear them as much now. And there's a reason for that. The reason is because I started introducing myself to the fear. I introduced myself to a community of people that actually somehow love snakes. I haven't quite gotten there yet, but I do have a sense of I don't want to kill them or see other people kill them. As in the past, it was like, oh my gosh, somebody get a rifle and let's shoo that thing away or, you know, just get rid of it. They are animals that deserve to live just like every other furry, cute creature on the planet. I'm not to the point yet where I can go in and actually pick one up or where someone could like wrap one of those big ones around me and I can take a picture. But I am to the point where I can go up to the glass aquarium and I can look through the aquarium and not freak out when I see the snake. So I'm working on my fear of snakes. That is one of my biggest fears. And it stops me from doing a lot of things. I've mentioned this before in podcast. So there are things that other people are afraid of also. And let's talk specifically about what creatives might be afraid of and what creative entrepreneurs might be afraid of. And I think some of those things might be a fear of actually getting paid what you're worth. 
I have seen so many people who don't want to actually say what they are worth because they're afraid that people will dismiss them as you don't have any experience. You're not worth that. They don't know the the entrepreneur doesn't know because they're too afraid to ask. They think they may lose the job, which they don't have anyway, or that the person will tell them no, which is no different than where they are right now. So why not just ask for what you think the job is worth? Why not just say, you know what? I think that this gig that I'm going to play is worth 500 bucks. It was worth 500 bucks for those people over there. We're drawing just as good a crowd and we think we deserve that much money. Or if you're a photographer, this is how much money I think I'm worth. And this is how much these prints are worth. And this is how much my skills are worth. People are afraid of that. People are afraid to try new things. And I really, really am a proponent of trying new things. I think I talked yesterday about you can't just go from playing, you know, the high school auditorium up to playing you know, Madison Square Garden, that's not going to happen. There are stages that one must go through. But you can believe enough in yourself to say, I can get to that next place. Fear stops people all the time. And we have to get over this fear. One of the ways to do that is to start learning about it. Learn about the things that you are afraid of so that they don't frighten you so much. There are books. There are people who have done it before. There are other entrepreneurs that you can actually talk to. Maybe you can study with them. Maybe you can work for them. So you can do these things so that you are not afraid because that fear is going to stop you from being amazing. So just to bring this kind of to a close, your fear is something you have to face. If you don't face it, you will never grow to where you potentially can be. You might grow around it, but there are things that you may want to do and that fear is stopping you. My fear is stopping me from traveling because I'm afraid of snakes. Uh, we'll talk about more of that later. The only thing to fear is fear itself. Think about that one just for a little bit. We've all got to get past these fears that we have so that we can grow and become better. Face your fear. Look it straight in the eye. Learn about it and see if you can't negotiate with that fear so that becomes your strength or your partner. I'm doing the same thing with my fear of snakes. I'm going to continue talking about that until one day I'm not afraid of them. This is Michael Jackson. Peace.